Hi friends, thanks for joining us for this episode of What's in the Game. Today we are playing Hava's Animal Upon Animal. In this game, players start with a pile of animals that they'll be placing on or beside their alligator. To start, they roll a die. That die can have a one or a two on it, meaning that that player would place one or two animals on top of the alligator. A hand, meaning that they'll be giving their animal to another player to place for them. Or a question mark which means that the other players will determine which of your animals you'll need to place. Lastly, you can roll an alligator, which means you'll be placing an animal beside the alligator to build up the foundation and add more play space. You'll continue to build on top of the alligator until part of the pyramid falls. If less than two animals fall, then that player would take those animals into their pile to stack later. If more than two animals fall, then that player takes two of the animals and the rest return back to the box not to come back into gameplay. Players continue to stack on top of the alligator until someone has no animals left and they are crowned the winner. All right, so we'll roll the dice and we'll see what we're stacking on our alligator. I got an alligator, so I'm putting one of my pieces right beside the alligator. Good roll. One. 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 So you're putting one on top. Ooh, good place. You only got to sit down. He's <laughs> upside down. Oh, I got a hand. What does that mean? He gives me one. I'm giving you one. So I'm going to give you my lion. No, no, I got a dinosaur. What? <laughs> it's not a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Oh. You calling me a silly guy? Yes, it is a dinosaur. One. One. All right. One now. Yes. Oh no, he's flipping off. Good placement. Gotta have a nice secure placement. And, and, and a boy. Mm-hmm. I got one as well, so I'm going to take my my monkey. Alright, your turn. Alligator. Alligator. Ooh, that's a good one to put beside it. Oh no! Ooh, that means that these two pieces you've got to place later. Your turn. It's not boring for me as an adult to play, let alone for kids who love spending that time with their parents. You're going to get a lot of learning out of this game. You're going to learn about animals for the younger kids. You're going to learn about dexterity and balancing, turn taking, and then sharing, rule following, all those things that are going to come from board games in general. I think Haba has designed beautiful games with these great wooden pieces very durable, it's gonna last a long time, and it gives four animals uh, of each type, so you're able to play with up to four players. Or, if your kids are getting better and you have two players, then they get to play with a few more animals in their pile, and so it gets a little bit more challenging, and as they get better, they're eventually going to be beating you, which is a lot of fun, and it's really magical with this game, where you don't have to let them win, they actually are going to get better and they're going to surprise you with how good they get with their dexterity. I'll link it below to Amazon and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more of our content. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let us know in the comments if there's any other games you would like to see us play and review. 
Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time on What's in the Game.